Hey guys, and welcome to September's writing vlog. Um, so I've kind of just been feeling very weird um, recently, uh, specifically today, and I think it's because my period's coming, but whatever. I've literally been lying on my bed for like the past hour or something, mindlessly scrolling through my phone or staring at the ceiling and just not doing anything, um, not having the motivation to do anything, not knowing what to do. I don't know, I don't really like this mindset that I've been in where I just, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I'm okay or if I'm like sad or I'm burnt out, like, I don't know what's happening. So at the end of August, I did some writing, um, finally, and I don't know how many words I ended up writing in total, but I did some writing and I'm super proud of that. And then I haven't done any writing yet this month. I created a bullet journal. And I have a days read and days written spread. And uh, the days written has no days colored in, which is really sad to look at. And I'm really hoping that it starts to change soon because this is like so sad to look at compared to this one, which will be colored in every single day. Oh, it's the fifth, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I want to write. I want to finish reasons why not to. But I just feel I don't know. I don't like. I don't even know how I feel. I can't even like describe how I feel it's not like I don't know I was thinking about it yesterday and just like overall mental health wise I just kind of feel heavy I don't know how else to describe it I just feel heavy and weighed down just not not good not great on a better note um I have a new story idea which is really exciting and I'm hoping to work on it in NaNoWriMo if I can finish reasons why not to in time I wanted to have it finished in August, so this is just not going as planned. And I, yeah, I have a new story idea, so I'm hoping that I can start to like brainstorm it a bit this month and full prep October next month. Oh, so, I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling meh and heavy, and I don't even. I don't know if I'm feeling burnt out or if I'm just feeling gross. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is like brought on by my period because two days ago I was fine, and my period is supposed to come today or tomorrow. So I just, I think this is being, me just being on my period, which I hate. That's fun. So this has been too long of a clip. But hopefully this vlog has happier clips in it um, of me actually getting work done. That would be great. But for now, I'm going to sign off and I will talk to you guys later. today guys I finally wrote today oh my god so I wrote I wrote in my calendar I decided to write um, in the monthly section how many words I write per day that I do write so 2349 words is how many words I just wrote and I'm just so happy that I finally wrote and it wasn't that like the words aren't great but it came to me easier than I thought that it would so that's good yeah so I'm happy that I'm finally writing oh my goodness let me give you stats for my book overall because like I'm going insane with how big this book is getting 317 pages I'm only in act two and I have 317 pages um I think my pacing is a bit off so I'm gonna need to like edit it I don't think my book needs to be as big as it's gonna be this draft for once I'm actually over writing or I don't know, but I'm just, eh. um, and then the book right now has 78,275 words, almost 80,000 words, and I'm not done yet. Like, I don't know how many more words are left in Act 2. I'm guessing maybe like 10,000 more, maybe, I don't even know, maybe 10,000, say 10,000 more, let's say 70 something thousand for act two and act three is typically around 10 to 15 thousand so let's just go with 15 thousand so that's me 25 thousand more words excuse me my book's gonna be over 100k this has never happened to me before what the hell i'm gonna have to edit it down so bad there's no need for it to be that long hopefully i can finish it this month because i just want to send it to my friends so badly i want to read through it and fix minor things and then send it to my friends so badly so Fingers crossed that I can get my shit together and start writing every single day. I am going to sign off. Just know that I am so happy. 
Hey guys, so Joey's in here. It's currently the 9th of September and I just wanted to do a bit of an update. So I wrote like over a thousand words today. I think it was like a thousand four hundred and something, something like that. This is the only other day that I've written besides the, I think the 6th of the month, which kind of sucks. It took me a bit to get into it today. I think I just need to accept that I'm just better at writing at night and stop trying to do it in the morning. I just want to talk about NaNoWriMo because I really want to do NaNoWriMo, but I'm scared that my novel won't be like ready to write in November. Uh, I'm scared that I'm not going to have like an outline formed or anything, so I kind of want to start brainstorming it now. I have a new idea that I want to do for NaNoWriMo. It is, I don't want to say too much about it, but it's like a spooky book, maybe involving some ghosts, I don't know, graveyard maybe. Um, and I'm really excited about it, but I don't know if I'll be able to do a plot because it's so different from anything that I've written before. Oh my god, Joey is so cute. Um, I don't know if it's, it's like so different from anything I've ever written before, so I don't know. I'm kind of scared, and I also haven't decided if it's going to be a young adult or a middle grade. I don't really know. Because it's so different and it's brand new, I really kind of want to start planning it now and brainstorming now and getting ready for like preptober so like pre preptober prep for preptober for NaNoWriMo and try to brainstorm so I might do that I don't know because I really want to work on this book and I really want to be good so I need to figure out like an actual solid plot for it maybe try to write like a quick synopsis of it I'm work on my characters I don't know what my characters look like I don't know who my characters are I don't know what their names are um I don't know anything so but I'm really excited about like the basic idea of it so that's fun I need to go because I have no space left on my memory card and I will update you guys later hopefully with some good updates I don't know hey guys so it is September 10th what time is it it is 3 58 p.m. I want to do an update on my like Halloweeny spooky novel I'm in the process of trying to come up with like a temporary project name I'll keep you guys updated but I've started brain dumping um so I grabbed this blank composition notebook that I had and I put some Halloweeny stickers on it fun spooky I'm really excited um and I did a huge brain dump last night like a huge brain dump look at this so I basically just put down everything that was already in my phone notes and I transferred it over um, I put some new ideas, so there's plot ideas in here, there's the character name ideas, what I want my main character to kind of look like, things I want to make sure that I include, other character names. I want, the t like, I want this to be set in like a small town that's kind of reminiscent of like a Star's Hollow type of feel from Gilmore Girls. So like I wrote that down and I want this to be like a very like immersive town where everybody everybody kind of knows everybody and so I'm trying to come up with like some townspeople so there's like a baker and there's like this lady that like competes with her past self um to have the best haunted house every Halloween and it's just so much fun there's gonna be like a Halloween festival I think I don't know I just think it's gonna be so much fun also trying to come up with like possible like antagonists I also think it's gonna be like a high middle grade low young adult book so I want the characters to be like around 13 14 because that just I don't know that just feels right to me I don't know like I don't want to do like a a true middle middle grade novel but I also don't want to be like full swing YA you know what I mean so it's gonna be somewhere around that like age range of like 13 14 yeah so I just kind of have a lot of ideas and I'm just really excited I think this is the perfect time to be writing a book like this because I'm currently very much so in like a Halloweeny spooky mood and obviously I'll be planning it during October which is prime spooky time um, and then I'll be writing it in November which it's a little unfortunate because I'll be coming down off of that spooky vibe and I'll be wanting Christmas, so we'll see. I'm hoping that I will still want to write the book when it's not Halloween, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm hoping that I can pull it together for NaNoWriMo. I don't really know. I want to do some writing and reasons why not to a little bit later. Um, I don't really feel like doing it right now, so I think I'm going to wait till after dinner to do it. I'm trying to brainstorm some more things, but I'm having some difficulty, so I don't really know what to brainstorm. I have a bunch of different options for, like, plots, and I'm trying to, like, combine them all together into one plot, like, one mega plot, because I like aspects of, like, each one. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit difficult, because, um, like I said, this book is so out of my comfort zone. It's so different to anything I've ever written before. I've never written a book. Um, for this like age group before I've never written anything that isn't like 
at its root like a contemporary novel like rewind had like time travel aspects in it but that was pretty much it the rest of it was a contemporary um or like you know you know set in the real world this one is set in the real world but it has like spooky magical elements to it which is something that i've never really dabbled in fully before so i'm really really nervous which is why i'm starting to plan it now instead of just waiting till preptober because i use nervous i'm gonna get back to trying to work guys so it is currently the 11th of september and i just kind of wanted to chat and give you guys a bit of a writing update so um my mental health has been really low this entire week i've been feeling i don't know just like drained and heavy and just like not good so i haven't really been doing much i did nothing all day today except to watch youtube i just haven't been feeling good and then i you know it was just like sitting here and i was like you know what I'm gonna try to do some writing. I'm gonna put on some music. I put on some One Direction, which always puts a smile on my face. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna try to write and try to see if forcing myself to do something, forcing myself to write will make me feel better, will make me happy because I don't know. I just, I've been feeling so off, you know, and I just, want, I'm like, once I get into the groove of writing, I'm sure I will feel at least a little bit better. And I do. Um, not like fully, I still kind of feel like garbage, but I feel better knowing that I did work today and I accomplished something today and it wasn't just like a waste of a day. So let me give you an update. I managed to write 1700 words exactly today, so 1700 words, which isn't my best writing day in the last little while, but still really freaking good. Like. That's over NaNoWriMo's word count goal every day, so like I'm happy with that. I could have kept writing, but my laptop is dying and I can't charge it in my room because I don't have a plug to plug it into. And I don't feel like sitting in the other room, I feel like sitting on my bed. That's why I stopped writing. I might go back to writing once it charges up a little bit. I haven't quite decided. I do need to get some reading in today. My total word count right now for Act 2 is 60,689 words with 250 pages so that means for a total for my entire book right now it's 81,469 words I've broken 80k which is insane because the book is not done yet and so I'm just like whoa whoa this book is gonna be a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be and I'm gonna need to edit it down a lot which is fine by me because that never happens normally I have to like add things so I'm not mad um, and I have 330 pages in total. Yeah, that's kind of a word count update. So I am feeling a little bit better after getting those words in, which is really, really nice. Uh, I'm happy that I managed to actually get work done today and I would still like to get some work done later on. Um, it's only 8.58, so we'll see by the time my laptop charges up a little bit if I still feel like writing. Yeah, I'm just feeling proud of myself and I'm gonna let myself feel these happy emotions because besides that I'm not doing great. Anyways, I'm a mess. Um, I will update you guys <laughs> eventually. Okay, so let me just give you a writing update for yesterday. It's currently Friday. Technically it's Saturday because it's past midnight. But Let's just forget about that. But yesterday's word count for Thursday, I ended up writing 3,644 words. Um, I wrote a bit um, when it hit midnight, and I wrote like over a thousand something words, and then I just continued yesterday night when I got home from hanging out with Lorena. My current total for Act 2 is 64,333. Um, I don't know what the book is in total, but Act 2 is at that many words, and I'm pretty happy with that number. But that's not why I wanted to make this clip. I just thought that I would update you. I told you guys about a new novel idea. I'm calling it Project Sister Spooky, which, yes, is a play on James Charles's like, sister thing. Um, I don't like James Charles. I just find the the saying funny project sister spooky i want it to be like a halloweeny like middle grade like fun spooky story and um i'm just not liking any of the plots anymore so i just don't know if this is what i want to work on in nanowrimo which is really unfortunate um because we're running out of time guys i am not a story idea machine i don't always have story ideas 
running out of my head. I actually am pretty bad at making up story ideas and so I get pretty excited when I get one and I'm really disappointed when I end up not loving them anymore. And it's typically with the ones that are not contemporary based that I end up giving up on because it's just not my genre no matter how much I would like for it to be my genre. It just isn't. Maybe I'll still work on this one. I don't know. But now I'm trying to think of something else that I could possibly do for NaNoWriMo. And I just, I don't know. I went to my phone. Okay, my handy dandy phone. I have a story ideas category in my notes section, my notes app thing. Well, I have a few. But I don't really love them. I just don't have that like spark of like, yes, I must work on this book. I typically get story ideas when I'm like half asleep, like trying to fall asleep. And I'm like at that point where I'm almost almost succumbing to the sleep and then I get an idea and have to go grab my phone. They're usually not any good. So I have a few different like contemporary ideas in my phone here, but I'm not like obsessed with any of them. I really want to participate in NaNoWriMo, but I can't do that unless I have a new story idea. And I need a new story idea because I don't want to return to Rewind. I don't feel like I'm in a place right now where I want to return to Rewind. I just, I need another idea and I need something to work on and I don't want to force it but I'm running out of time because I'm going to need to outline the book, which takes me forever. And I'm going to need to also create characters enough to write a first draft. And um, I'm just struggling. Yeah, I'm just kind of ranting at you. I should probably head off to bed. Hey guys, so it is the 14th. It's Saturday. Um, I just finished getting ready for work. Writing update. So my last clip from last night I was talking about how I don't have story ideas and I didn't want to work on my sister spooky book anymore and I'm like I don't know what I'm going to do for NaNoWriMo and I was like I never have story ideas in backup in my mind that I can work on. Right after ending that clip I started talking to myself. Um, I do this a lot um, where when I'm struggling with like writing or something I'll just talk to myself and like I'll work it out with myself out loud. Is that weird? I don't know, but it really helps me, so I'm gonna keep doing it, regardless of whether or not you think it's weird. And I started talking to myself, and I was like, okay, what do I like in books? What have I always wanted to write? What do I like to read? And I thought, fake dating. I was looking right at Small the Boys, and I was like, fake dating. I would love to play around with a fake dating trope. <sighs> so, I came up with the fake dating trope idea. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to brainstorm that when I get home from work today. Maybe I'll just wait till tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know, but I guess I might be trying to write a fake dating story. And if this story does not pan out, I'm a bit real sad because I kind of like it. And also, I've been wanting to write a book. I've been wanting to write a few different things. Like, one, I've been wanting to play around with my favorite tropes, and fake dating is definitely one of my favorite tropes. And I was like, well, I want to write a book set in like the fall, winter, like at school time, because every book I write, except for like Rewind, happens in the summer and I don't know why I do that because I hate summer. And I also want to play around with characters who are different than I am because I tend to write characters who are fairly similar to me who like books who do the same things that I do and that's not gonna be this. Um, so my current main character in Reasons Why Not To, Lila, she has anxiety, she loves books, she has a booktube channel, she's, she's basically me but cooler and with orange curly hair. This character is gonna be different, she's gonna be an extrovert, I think she's gonna be a theater nerd which is very, very different for me. I am in no way a theater, a theater nerd. Um, and this is gonna make Julia happy because she, I think, I think I'm gonna make her like musicals, like Dear Evan Hansen and stuff like that, so. Yep, um, so that's gonna happen. I'm kind of excited. Um, I don't know if I want this book to be set in the same universe as Reasons Why Not To. I've always liked the idea of like playing around with that, being like a Morgan Matson type writer where it's set in like the same world and so characters can make cameos. I think that could be really fun. I might do that. I need to go finish getting ready for work. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys. So writing update. It's currently the 17th of September. I actually wrote today which is really good. I've been really on and off writing this month like I'll like not write for a few days and then I will like write for a couple of days or like a day and I'll get like a good word count and then I'll like stop again it's not good but I managed to get just over like 2,000 words today I honestly don't know how much I wrote today um about 2,180 um I think just slightly over that because I sent a text to Alyssa and then I wrote a few more words after that so let's just say around like 2,185 words which I'm pretty happy with. I might do some more writing later. Maybe because I feel like I could still write, but I wanted to take a break and read. Guys, my book in total 
like total word count acts one and act two 87,339 words 87,000 I've never written a book with this many words before and I'm like honestly baffled at the sheer amount of, of words that I've written. I just don't think it needs to be this long. Um, I think if it's this long it'll just drag. Definitely know that I need to get act one down a little bit and there are probably some pacing issues in act two as well but just still like wow at least i have things to work with like i'll probably be deleting more than i have to add which is great because typically i underwrite and i end up having to add a bunch of crap so pretty pleased pretty pleased i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty good about what i'm writing i really like something that i just wrote i sent a few snippets to Alyssa, which is really good guys i'm almost at 90 thousand words um i'll update you guys later because i'm just kind of like baffled <laughs> hey guys so um it's the 18th and i'm about to get all dramatic on you guys um and overreact about something so i was just on instagram you know minding my own business when caleb the insane reader i don't know if that's still his name or anything but caleb posted about the new nanorimo site and how it's not good and i was like oh no so i clicked on the site and it's not it's not good I'm sure I'll get used to it, but I don't like it. Um, keep in mind, I hate change. Like, I really hate change. I don't like having to get used to a new system. And I just, I don't, I don't like change. And I'm just kind of upset. There's two big things I'm really upset about. One is that they merged the Camp Nano site with the normal NaNoWriMo site. So now they're all in one place. Which sounds like a good idea, right? Because then everything's in one place. I liked having them separate. I liked having one site for all my camp nano projects i liked having nanorimo which is my nanorimo projects now they're all in the same place and i get i'm confused and i don't even think all my stuff has transferred over from the old site because it just has like two reasons why not two projects on there without like any stats on them so i don't know where my july or april stats are and the other thing is the graphs and the stats so um on nanorimo like you when you're doing nanorimo you get stats pages with graphs and you know how many words you have to write every day and how many words you have written and blah 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 and I loved it. It was so super motivational. I loved taking pictures of it. I loved looking at it. I loved updating it. And now it's really ugly. They have two different ways that you can see the graph. They have one that's like a dotted graph and then they have a bar graph. I, I love bar graphs. Even in school I prefer bar graphs so I at least I can change it to a bar graph. But the bar graph is really weird. Like, I don't like how they have the page set up where it's, like, scrolling and, um, it's, like, a really weird, like, bubble bar graph. Does that make any sense? I don't know. You guys have to go check out the site. And I'm sure, like, I know I'm being dramatic and I know I'm overreacting and it's not that, it's not that big of a deal. But it just it bothers me. And especially since, like, my favorite parts are now ruined. Like, my favorite part was the graph and looking at the cute little graph. And now it's ugly and not it's not gonna be nice to take photos of because it doesn't it doesn't look right i have to use this site for a whole month of november i don't think there was anything wrong with their old site and i just i don't like when companies or apps or whatever change their app or update their app when there is nothing wrong with it like don't fix something if it ain't broke okay I, yeah this feels like a like this feels like a death of like i don't know like i feel like i'm in mourning for the old nanorimo site like r.i.p I miss you. I wish I appreciated you more when you were here. I wish I checked in on you more. I don't even like. I don't like it. Hey guys, so it is currently the 2nd of September and I just kind of want to chat for a second because I'm getting a little stressed out about writing. This month has not been my month writing wise and I think it's because I've been focusing so heavily on reading because it's currently Schwab September, which is a readathon that I'm co-hosting. And so I've been kind of really focusing on that. And um, my mental health has not been the strongest. And my writing has been very, very spotty this entire month, which kind of sucks. I mean, I still made really good progress because I haven't been writing as much. The days that I do write, I tend to write a fair amount of words, um, over a thousand words every single time, but almost always 2,000 words or at least close to 2,000 words, which is great. Um, my novel as a whole has hit 90,000 words, which is insane. I don't know, like, I'm, I'm struggling because I need to finish this draft. And I have a week and a couple days left of the month. So that's going to prove to be a challenge. Like, I'm going to assume it's going to bleed into October. But I'd like it not to. Um, because in October, 
I'm gonna be trying to brainstorm and outline an entire book to write in November. I'm I'm crazy. Why am I doing this to myself? Don't want to miss a NaNoWriMo, and I'm really excited about NaNoWriMo. Besides, you know that whole new website fiasco that I'm still mad about. I really want to write this new book idea that I have. I just I need to outline it first, which means I need to do all my character profiles and everything, which is a lot of work. It's a lot of work because I don't even have character names for my characters. I don't know what all my characters look like. Um, I don't really know the whole scope of this entire story, so I just I need to do a lot of brainstorming, and that's really, really nerve-wracking to try to fit that into an entire month because October also tends to be kind of a busier month because it's like Halloween and so me and my friends try to fit in some like Halloween activities. So, you know, I also I'm doing a couple of readathons in October because apparently I hate myself. I'm doing the Gilmore Girls readathon which is the first two weeks of October and then I'm doing the Jackathon which is one that I co-host with Peyton and Julia so I have to do that one. It's just, it's a lot. I guess we'll see what happens, but I will definitely keep you guys updated as we go along this stress journey together. Hey guys, so it's September 24th, so I have a bit of an update for you. So I just sat down to write, and I was writing, yay me. Actually, did I update you guys yesterday on my writing? I don't think so, let me do that first. So yesterday I wrote 1,529 words to give Act 2 a total of 71,057 words. That was yesterday. Great. So today, I sat down to write. Okay. And, you know, I'm just going along. I look at my outline and I'm like, oh, hey, I'm almost done. Act two. I should be able to, you know, finish it soon. And I was like, great. Didn't really think about it. Kept on writing. And then, you know, I was scrolling in my outline to get to, like, the next part. And I'm like, wait. I'm done. Like, this is the last scene that I have to write. And then I'm, and then I'm done. Act two. I just finished act two, pretty much. I wrote 1,248 words for a total of 72,305 words with 296 pages, which I'm pretty happy with. But what I mean by it's pretty much done is I did skip over a few scenes when I just really wasn't feeling them. So I'm gonna have to go back through later on when I return to the novel. Like, but like for right now, I'm calling it done. I'm dead. I'm like actually dead. I, okay, I'm done act two. I have six more days left of September, okay? And I still need to write act three, hopefully before October, because that's when I have to outline and plan out a whole entire novel. I'm not freaking out at all. <laughs> Just a little bit. So I have six more days to try to finish this goddamn draft, and I don't know if I can do it, because I'm assuming that act three is going to be around 10 to 15k, so let's just say 15 Okay, right? So that means in the next six days, I have to write 2,500 words every single day in order to hit my goal of finishing the draft. I don't know how plausible that is. I'm gonna go because this vlog is already gonna be super, super hard to edit and super long. I'm gonna check in with you guys um, later and hopefully I can do this because god damn it, I'd really like to do this. <laughs> hey guys, today is the 30th of September, so I kind of just wanted to close out this super long vlog. I am so so sorry. I have so much footage for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. did do a lot of writing this month, just not as much as I was wanting to do. I still haven't finished the book. I did finish act two, so there's an accomplishment, but I just, I did not finish act three. What are you gonna do? Um, it is what it is. So it is gonna bleed into October, where I try to finish it, which is really unfortunate because it is Preptober, where I'm trying to outline an entire book. NaNoWriMo. Plus make characters because I think only one of my characters have it, has a name right now and I don't even know who my side characters are and it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be really stressful. But what you're gonna do, hopefully I'll have a writing update out for you guys soon. I don't want to do one until I finish Reasons Why Not To Draft 2 so hopefully I can finish that within the first week of October and then I can talk to you guys about everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys worked on in September how much progress you made on whatever you're working on. Let me know what your current projects are. I love hearing about your guys' writing and writing progresses and stuff like that, so definitely let me know down below. Um, also, let me know if you guys are participating in NaNoWriMo, if you guys know what you're doing yet. Um, let me know. Subscribe if you have not yet already, and I will see you guys next time.